Hi everybody. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about calcium and the importance of it in your pet's diet. But how do you get calcium in your pet's diet if you're not feeding a food that has synthetic calcium added into it? So most of us buy these complete and balanced diets at food, at stores, sorry, and it already has all of these supplements in it. But some of us are very concerned about using supplements. So what do you do? If you're looking to find ways, if you're doing a home prepared diet and you're looking to find ways to add in calcium into your pet's diet, one very simple and inexpensive way to do it is with our little friend the egg. This one happens to be frozen so if my hands fall off it's because I have a frozen egg. I didn't even know you could freeze eggs until I started buying the duck eggs from Answers and they freeze them. It's the kind of the coolest thing. But what's super cool about the egg is the egg is practically a complete balanced diet. Um, not that I'm saying that you should just feed your dogs or cats eggs for the day, but what I am saying is that there's a lot of nutrients in this little tiny egg and there is actually calcium, but it happens to be in the eggshell. So um, feeding your pets eggshells is actually a really good way to get some of the nutrients that your pets need. But what's super interesting is they've actually done studies. You know how people are always like, well, is there a study? Is there a study? Is there a study? There is a study. There was a study done and they were actually trying to find out um, for humans how they could get uh, calcium in diets of um, very poor people. And so they went and they did a bunch of research on calcium carbonate and how you can get it. And eggshells was a way to solve that problem when you had people living in poverty that were having not able to afford certain things. They could get calcium to their children through eggshells. One of the best ways to get calcium is through bone. But some people aren't comfortable feeding their pets bone. And so instead what they do is they um, find other ways. So bone meal is actually the best source of getting calcium. But if you're in a bind, in a pinch, or if you're trying to find ways to make your pet's food cheaper, then you absolutely can do it with eggshells. And this is what a frozen egg looks like. I know you're all very excited to find that out. Yummy. Okay, so how do you, what do you do? So what do you do? Do you just feed the eggshell like this to your dog? Some people do. You probably could, I have, and I don't think that it's the end of the world, but if you are setting up and wanting to do a complete and balanced meal for your dog or your cat, you're gonna want to make sure that you have the right amounts. If you're doing the measurings, you're gonna wanna know how much you're putting in there. So um, you can do rotation diet, and if you're doing rotation diet and you're you know, some days fasting and doing all of that, it's probably not as, um, people aren't measuring it out. But if you want to measure it out, it's basically about a three-fourths of a teaspoon per cup of food that you feed your pet. So that's kind of an easy rule of thumb. There are some other ways you can look it up. This is going to be a quick video, so I'm not going to sit here and do every inch of every every pet's health, and I mean how much every pet weighs, but that's a basic rule, is three-fourths of a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, um, to about a cup of food. But one of the other really cool things I want to talk to you about, and I'm so glad that this peeled exactly. I don't, these aren't live videos, but they pretty much are because the person who helps me video these, um, she's from a company called Allied Exchange, which I highly recommend that you do. But she, when she edits these, I try to make it so she doesn't have to do a whole lot of editing. So I'm super excited that this actually peeled the way I wanted it to because you see that little, if you've ever eaten a egg, and you want to peel off all that gross like membrane, like kind of like a slimy part of the egg, that right there, my friend, is gold. That has glucosamine and chondroitin in it. My God, who knew, right? So we're running around trying to pay all this money and get all of this stuff that has all sorts of nutrients in it, and right inside the egg we have protein, cysteine, glucosamine, all sorts of amazing things that you can get to your animals. Okay, so now that I got super nerdy excited about <laughs> eggshell membranes, um, then what you can do is you can either cook the egg, which you would put it in your oven and then you would just bake it and then let it get nice and baked for probably about 15 minutes. 
Uh, you can do that. The reason that people do that is for fear of salmonella. So if you are concerned about salmonella, I personally am not in my dogs, so I don't worry so much about it. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. I, I wonder I wonder if you could put this on. I wonder if this would be a good face mask. I don't know, but it's really cool. So anyway, if you want to cook it, you can. I like to give um, eggs and eggshells raw, but if you are gonna cook it, you just put it in your oven bake it for about 15 minutes um, and then you're gonna want to get one of these handy dandy little things I don't know what company this is I'm not selling this I swear I don't look you don't even know what it is I don't know what it is I'm not trying to sell a grinder this is a coffee grinder it's your regular old coffee grinder and then what you do is you just take your dried eggshells with your membrane that's so cool <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about that um, but I can't get it all the way up. Look at it, it's coming off, like in a whole big sheet of it. That is so cool. I just want to show you. Like, look at it, it came off in a sheet. So, okay, so what you want to do is you want to put it in your coffee grinder. Yuck, yuck, yuck. You're going to put it in there, and you're going to grind it up. This is how you're going to know that you have three-fourths of a teaspoon that you're going to be feeding your, your per cup of food, not you can look it up sometimes you can find like per body weight and there's all sorts of things but I know most people when they're thinking in terms of feeding their pets they're thinking in terms of how much they feed their dogs or their cats so I try to um, do it in that term for you so it's about three-fourths of a tablespoon and let's see if I can figure out how to do this thing because I don't drink coffee so I don't use these very often um, but then what is really really cool is this is this one eggshell is going to grind up so much stuff, but then what you're going to do is just put it in your refrigerator and it can stay in there for about three months. And then that, that's enough calcium for your dog, probably for about three months. So because you just need a tiny, and it's going to grind it up into this little fine little powder. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And then you're just going to do three-fourths of a teaspoon into your dog's food, and that's how you're going to get your calcium. Um, remember that your pets need a lot more than just calcium um, this is a really good balance of calcium and phosphorus for your pets um, but th there's so many other nutrients that your pets need so I hope you'll come back and watch some of these videos to find ways to get the nutrients that you want without spending a whole lot of money on your pets eggs are an amazing 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 thing to add into your pets food not just for the egg itself but for the shells as well and the calcium as well so all right, guys, I hope that's helpful for you. Remember, if you want to get some tips and tricks right away, you can go to our Facebook page group, which is called Millie's House. If you want to reach me, you can contact me at the spot anytime. I'm here all the time. And if you have any pets or anything that you want to talk about, give me a call. Thanks. Bye, everybody.